Greetings everyone and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 17 where our colonists are about to deal with, well hopefully, deal with the mechanoid threat because I'm just not satisfied with it just sitting over there being all menacing also containing all of that glorious glorious plasteel that I really really would like to have for me so I can build more bits right okay now that you've done that I would like you to target the centipede if you can oh brilliant shot now take out the other one if you can as well launch um are they gonna go down in there well done and now focus on the ship hopefully with all of these weapons in there we're gonna be able to wipe out any of them without too much trouble especially if they stop to uh play around right in front of the shotgun turrets oh those are great or the shredder turrets as the case may be there we go well done absolutely excellent only one of them left and how much life is left on that i don't think that's going to survive another hit honestly yeah we'll see if it's way off target it won't actually do much at all but uh okay there we go and well actually uh can i cancel i should be able to let me just select everyone here there we go go do your own things there we are now is ah drat, none of them are alive that's a bit of a shame. Have you got any bits I can take out? No. That is deeply unsatisfying. I had really hoped we'd be able to claim a few of those components. Uh, oh well. It is what it is. Are you still alive? You might be. Yeah, you are. Okay. Uh, but all of this we will be bringing in. Let's grab all of that. Every single tiny little bit. Uh, could anyone... Wait what can i stick a centipede into my generator i'm not sure i'd want to frankly i don't think that would necessarily be good still might be useful all right let's get all of these things in i mean i could for science it but uh, no too late i can't for science it anymore still i'm, I'm not really that interested in, in doing that right now we've got more than enough power uh, i may for science it in the future We've got up to 181 uh, package survival meals. Pretty happy with that, actually. And oh, we're building the television first. Sure. Okay. That's fine. If that's what you'd like, I'm completely okay with that. We'll have to see if that does allow them to uh, enjoy the tubes whilst they're checking out. Oh, did Yoko just eat an animal? Well done, Yoko. But uh, enjoy the tubes while they're snoozing. All right, things are... Oh, wonderful, you've actually finished. Oh, thank goodness, you've actually finished it all. Oh, I was a little bit concerned about that. I was a little bit concerned. Oh, wait, what's just happened? Has anyone been harmed? Uh, no, generally, people are okay. Oh, dear. Ah. Ah, yes. Yes, we had a zzzt. That is unfortunate. Um, all right. My bad. I really should have considered that. Let's pop in a circuit breaker as well. There we go. That, that'll be the best thing that I can do for you. And with all of that hooked up, things should actually be pretty good tonight, I would imagine. Uh, we are going to need to get the refinery up and running properly with wood, but uh, let's actually zone a little area for the growing of trees. Um, sure, we'll, we'll set this little area up here. Uh, actually, we'll, we'll make it a little bit further away. Set up this as a little area for growing trees. Uh, I'd like... Um, sure, we'll go with that one. Uh, cargo pods. And that's a lot of... Oh, cloth. Nothing particularly interesting, alas. And at the moment, we appear to have a bunch of luciferium. How we've got a bunch of luciferium, I have no idea, but we do. So, we are going to uh, just pop that in there, out of harm's way. Uh, sure, you can go and eat some food in there if you really want to. Uh, could you please hold that? Don't take it, of course. Oh, my lord. Uh, right, you can hold this for me as well. Just hold it out of the way, and then we can get that all rebuilt. 
There you go. Prioritize working there. Can you... No? Okay. You're going to go off and grab it from somewhere else. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, ooh. What's happening there? Well, now this is the thing. How's your, your joy? Is your joy going up? No, your joy's going down. That's a bit of a shame, honestly. Uh, okay, well, we're going to need to reinstall this then. I guess we could pop it there. Sure, it would still catch both uh, both seats whilst people were chilling out. There we go. And we can take out the Ibix Ram. Thank you. Sorry about that. Hopefully you can get some uh, sleep shortly. And yeah, by all means, if you want to eat the, the raw human meat, chow down. All right, what do we need down here? Uh, not too much, actually. Hopefully we can get that moved into position before too long. Kind of taking care of the Ibex corpse. And we'll get a couple of extra trees just planted down there and everything should be grand. Right, what I would like is to have Camfield from wood. Do until you have, let's say, hmm, I'll take this all the way down and then pop it back up to 75. That should be good enough. But each of these is going to be set to 150. That way, they're effectively going to use up all the wood. But I really would love it if this could be built soon and we can actually start putting together some real food. Now, we could have a couple of small farms down here. Nothing particularly big. But it makes sense to try and do that. We'll allow it to just uh, be at the whim of the uh, current seasons. Uh, let's see, we'll have something down here. I'm not too fussy about the quality of this. So we'll just have something like that. We'll have this one for potato, sure, and this one for... Um, yeah, we'll have some rice there. I think we might have one final little area just prepared for some heel root. Not sure if anyone has... No, none of my uh, colonists have the means of growing heel root. So that is definitely something that we're going to need to be delivered to us. But that's fine. Oh my goodness. A pack of man-hunting elephants. What fortune. We are going to have so much food. Oh, this is grand, except all of that's turned off, which means the man-hunting elephants actually stand a good chance of being able to do a good bit of damage to our colony. Okay, first and foremost, make sure the animals are okay. All back to Yoko Alert, please. Secondly, let's make sure that everyone else is safe. All of you are restricted to... Well, actually, you're restricted to colony. Go, go, go. Get back indoors. Uh, it's a shame that that hadn't been rearmed, but uh, it's not the worst thing that could happen. Let's watch how this goes. This should be uh, pretty much a slaughter, despite their enormous power. That being said, if they all go for the same turret, they will take it down before I can kill them. Uh, it doesn't look like that's happening, though, thankfully. Though that one's already on 63%. Not liking it at all. 44%. Elephants are dangerous. Right, it's down to one. Oh my lord, that was that was really close. Uh, the rest coming down here or not? You coming in? Have you decided to stop being manhunters? I just don't know. Right, 44 and 27. You know what? I actually need the rest of my uh, colonists down here for this one. Wilson, sorry, I know, I know. You need your, you need to uh, get well, but we definitely need some additional firepower here. And let's make sure these things go down quickly. And there we go. Okay. Whoa. That could have been nasty. Uh, we would very much like all of these creatures to be slain. Could you please finish them off, Wilson? There we are. And then you can finish that one off. All of the huskies can go back to, well, being huskies. Chaos, you can just wander around home. And all of my colonists are... Unrestricted. There we are. Well, 
that just goes to show how ridiculously dangerous elephants are since uh, they very nearly broke two extremely um, defensible turrets that have survived countless raids. I'm quite pleased with how that went and we are going to have food for eons but that was eh, yeah you know it was a little bit too close maybe maybe I should get more of them or if nothing else we, we've just got to admire the the strength and capabilities of the of the mighty elephants okay as you can see I am setting up a new area this is going to be a storage area for just our general bric-a-brac such as wood and leathers and, and all of that kind of thing anything that we don't expressly need to uh, have in a cold room uh, since this is going to be an actual colony we might as well treat it like one uh, we will have I think we could probably fit in a few little items in here as well for production we'll have an electric tailoring bench right there and we'll also have a stone cutters table right here since we're probably going to uh, make uh, a go of this little place now as for floors uh, we'll just go with something reasonably simple we'll have something like this going around the outskirts and then sure wide wooden uh floorboards in there or rather just wooden floorboards in there there we go uh, as soon as the power is run through then we should have everything set up we'll have um temperatures such as a heater and a cooler in there as well which should help us out oh boom at six mafioso after being nuzzled i think that's a lovely name right uh we have we do have a couple of meals uh we've got Simple meal set up to be cooked up to 10, unpause when it drops to 5, and pemmican to unpause at 200 and will be made up to 500. Generally, I want to keep a decent amount of meat in the, in the colony for obvious reasons, Yoko being the chief among them. All right, we've got a bit of an eclipse. Oh, well, that's uh, actually not good. Not good at all. Uh, let's get ourselves a second actually we'll get another three batteries one of these is able to deal with the the stored um, power of three batteries but since we're going to be running a little bit low on room over there we'll actually cancel that from this area and we'll just keep this as a single zone in here uh, we oop KD, oh, really? Must you, KD? What are you going to do? Just going to wander into the freezer? I'm totally okay with that. You know what? If you just want to hang out and not be mad... Oh, run away. Horror story. Oh, you fool. Uh, all right, then. Go on, then. Melee KD. This is why KD never has a weapon. Uh, horror story. Hopefully, you can win this. But uh, back here, we are going to want some sort of wind power either that or a chem fuel generator now a chem fuel generator isn't a bad bad choice frankly it doesn't produce a, a a massive amount of power but since we've got the chem fuel anyway we might as well uh actually i think we could even install it down here if we really wanted to hmm it's an interesting proposition or we could perhaps pop this um, around here. You know what? I, th I think that's that's a decent place to pop it. Yeah. We'll allow it to run on uh, cam fuel. Just for those times when we when we need some help. Horror story, please rescue Katie and then rescue yourself as well. Uh, things are not being done over on this colony particularly quickly. And that's a little bit of a concern. And by a little bit, I mean quite a lot of a concern actually. Hmm. Damn it, KD, you only just came out of... Ah, oh, and, and, and Horror Story again, she's working on important things for chaos. Oh, my lord, KD. Uh, you can't actually fight. Flurgles, can you please go down there and, and also melee KD? Uh, and, and a fire as well. Oh, well, that's just... That, that's just... Taking the mick now, I'll be honest. Ah... Uh, 
Oh, well. Katie, this is going to go horrible for you at some point. Someone's going to accidentally kill you, and they're going to feel horrible about it, too. Uh, right, okay, let's have a look. Some new bruises to add to your collection, I suppose. Ah, my goodness. Horror story? Yeah, go and have a rest. Rhapsody? Can you... No, don't tend to KD first. Tend to horror story first. Poor horror story. Now, now rescue KD and then tend to KD. Okay, I feel a little bit bad about telling you not to <laughs> focus on KD. Uh, clearly, that was, in fact, uh, fairly, fairly important. All right, another fire. Uh, okay, that one should go out fairly quickly. Fire. Oh, wow, you hadn't finished repairing that? Oh, my goodness. Just as well that you uh, got all of that sorted then. Oh, we're still moving along some of the metal, uh, some of the um, bricks. Uh, things aren't going great in the colony right now. It, it, everything seems to just be oddly slow. But we've got a lung, a liver, and another lung. I think it's time for Chaos to have uh, another, a, another opportunity to become the best that it can possibly be. All right, Chaos. Let's have a look at you, then. We need to get you... Two lungs. Where is it? There we are. And a liver. There we go. I think that's all we've got. Yep. Okay. Go rest. As soon as you can. Never mind. Perhaps he's taking care of it. And hopefully Rhapsody is then promptly treating Chaos. Oh, good. Okay. Best of luck, Rhapsody. Oh, my lord. I'm actually a little bit nervous about this one. Please don't fail. Please, please don't fail. I'm recording it for posterity. If you fail, it's going to be on YouTube for the rest of forever. Or until YouTube eventually uh, eventually closes the servers in, like, 3031. There we go. And this is the lung. Okay, going well. All that remains is the liver now. Surrogate lung has been created. Well done. Well, yeah, oh, Rhapsody's not asleep. Um, could could you please not just half finish operating on something? My lord. All right, there we go. Then all that remains is your kidneys, I believe. Um, kidneys. Oh, kidney, stomach. Oh, actually, yeah, brain stimulator as well. And then the animal legs and spine and jaw. Actually, you've got loads of things to go, Chaos. Oh, my goodness. But the main ones will be your stomach, your kidneys, and your brain. And at that point, you'll effectively, you'll be functionally immortal. All right, how are things going down here? Yeah, we ran out of power a little while ago. The eclipse is ending. Oh, thank goodness. Happy days are these. All right, Dune. Let me adjust that animal area for you. Let's not have you guys wandering around in there. Or in there. There you go. However, you can, in animal, oh, in animal area one, go more or less around the whole of the colony otherwise. There you go. That'll do, I think. And you can also wander around down there as well. This way, Dune should always be in uh, fairly close to the colony. There we are, having a bit of a nice chat, generally speaking. No, it, it wasn't a nice chat at all. That, that was definitely a nasty chat. Who insulted who, I must know, was insulted by Dark Havoc. Wow. I'd like to say I'm surprised, but I'm not really. Dark Havoc, you scoundrel. Uh, are you going over there to... Ah, good, okay. Grabbing some more components. Not terribly bad. Right, what are you going to be using those on? Aha! You're going to get the uh, the cooler set up. Okay, well, that's uh, actually quite good. Make any stone you can until you have... Mm, uh, no, not quite that many. Sure. Uh, if we go into details, these respond a little bit differently. In here, control incremented by tens. In there, it's by hundreds. Very well. Okay, you can do a little bit of work there. I would like that reduced to 20 if possible. These should all be 20 as well. 
Uh, no, that's 21. That should be 20. Please and thank you. Actually, looking at that, we possibly didn't need two of these, given that uh, this event was was sufficient in sharing the temperature between the rooms. That was a bit of an oversight on my part, if I'm perfectly honest. Bit of an oversight. Um, I'll have this one cool it to 25 then, and this one to cool it to 20. So this one will only kick in if it's especially hot. And that's much what we've done down here. This one takes it to zero, this one takes it down to two. In fact, we can take it down a little bit further. Female gender, wincing in pain. Not the best of days, certainly. And this one should heat it to 18 degrees if needed. All right, there we go. Uh, hopefully we can get more mining done quickly. Uh, I may want to set up some sort of defensive structure around here. Certainly there's enough value here to warrant it at this point, but uh, at the same time, it's a little bit uh, worrisome. Uh, let's just make sure that we have, do until you have uh, two cowboy hats. Let's put that all the way down to two. And count, no, don't count co clothing one on corpses. You can, however, count equipped clothing. I think that would be fine. And there we are. So we'll have some cowboy hats. We'll have... Let's see. We could make some military fatigues. Given the situation out here, that makes some sense to me. So once again, we only want to but make sure that you're also uh, including worn military fatigues. Uh, we will go for cargo shorts. And... Hmm. Construction jacket wouldn't be a terrible one. Maybe overalls, though. Yeah, I think overalls would be the ones to go for. And do until, do until. We should be able to just pop that up to two. And then make sure that they're counting equipped clothes. And we should be good. If I have a look at you. Uh, shirt, hat, coat, cargo shorts. Seems reasonable. You're probably going to make them very, very warm because the primary thing you're going to have available to you is going to be Dune's wool. So, uh, yeah, that could go better. Maybe. Uh, but for the time being, things aren't terrible. We do need to get more um, food in here. And there always seems to be more work to be done, uh, which is unfortunate. And that's probably true of both locations, if I'm perfectly honest. But for the time being, things aren't going badly at the very least. Uh, I take it back, actually. Things are pretty rough. Pretty, pretty awful in certain ways. The flu has paid a visit. Oh, my lord. Um, Rhapsody, this is going to be rough on you especially. Oh my goodness. Let's uh, make sure we've got a couple. Wilson, are you? No, you are not. You're there for gut worms. All right. Well, Rhapsody, could you uh, tend to Wilson? I'm just going to have to hope that people generally take care of themselves. Tend to Rhapsody, please. There we go. And then tend to Janina. Oh, that's gut worms. Uh, was it Jana who had the flu? Yes, it was. Well, Janet, you're resting until healed. Oh, dear me. All right, let's have a look. What are you working on? You're working on wardening and research. That's actually fine. Since you will, generally speaking, tend to people before anything else you do. Well, other than satisfying your own needs, of course. But uh, as a whole, you should... Well, what are you off to? Oh, you're going to rest. No, no, you're not. You are absolutely not, in fact. Let's make sure people are okay. Oh, poor Rhapsody. Poor, poor Rhapsody. It's like, ah, I've got to make sure everyone's okay. You guys should be all right. Let me just make sure you've had noxicillin. Yeah, you have. Otherwise, I could force feed it to you. Okay, well, things aren't, you know, the worst it could possibly be. Um, but they certainly could do with a little bit of an improvement. We need a couple more components, and then we're sorted as far as our basic setup goes. Let's go and find some more components on the map for that. Uh, is there any down here? 
Ah, uh, there we are. I knew there was a couple more. Let's grab that. Uh, are there any more, though? Uh, in fact, there are, actually. There's quite a lot more. Still, um... Yeah, we'll we'll tell you to mine connected areas. And we got some cargo pods. Ooh, marvellous. Some meat. I approve. Let's get that inside. There we go. And hopefully then we'll uh, continue to produce all of the everything that we need. I'm actually fairly happy with that. Hooray! We're actually starting to see Kaya putting on some of the clothing that Dark Havoc has been making. These are happy days indeed. Uh, right. Uh, I'm actually going to clear anything that's forced. I mean, the shield belt probably is worth having. But we'll see if he uh, keeps hold of those. Kaya right now is wearing cargo shorts. Good, 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 good. She should no longer be having... Wearing, oh, whoa, no, you are wearing worn-out apparel still. Ah, the leather overalls. Well, hmm. Are there no good overalls having been made in here? Hmm. Okay, I mean, two new overalls have been made. Uh, there are overalls right there that are available to you. Hmm. That is unfortunate. Let's just have a quick look. Can we... Control what you consider? Ah, counted items. Let's count items filter 70 to 100%. Anything lower than that. Doesn't, doesn't matter. I'm going to need to do that for all of them, unfortunately, because I was a bit of a derp when I was setting this up and I forgot to check for that. Let's get all of these set. That way we can ensure that everyone has the correct amount of items. There we go. Uh, that's good enough for now. What's Dark Havoc up to at the moment? Back to mining, it seems. Or rather, just hauling components, which is perfectly fine. What are you going to do then? Eat some more peoples. Kaya is back to hunting, which is fantastic. Excellent times. Uh, alpaca revenge. Uh, Kaya, can you finish it off? I, I mean, you, I guess you don't have to. Oh, fibrous mechanized re- Drat. Ensure you have a medical bed and a doctor. Make sure the dark ever gets proper treatment and spends as much time in bed as possible. Well, that's just awful. Fibrous mechanized of all things. But at the same time, yeah, he's feeling a little bit more pain, but he's so much better at so many things. He'll get tired a lot faster, though. But fibrous mechanites are going to massively enhance his abilities. Uh, oops, that's not quite what I meant to do. Uh, Dark Havoc, could you go and perhaps melee attack the the uh, alpaca that's hunting Kaya? How about you actually fight things? That would be good. All right, let's get in there. There we go. Dark Ava can finish it off then. There we go. Thank you. And we'll get that hauled in as well. Uh, on that note then, we're probably going to want to select similar. Cross the map. And harvest them. There we are. Perfect. Now that place is filled up much faster than I was hoping. Much faster. We actually need some plasteel. Oh... That would be why those things haven't been built back at the base. Ah, it all suddenly makes so much sense. Ah, dread. And I was, I was, I was complaining. I, I, I'll admit, I was complaining about what they were doing uh, when they were probably all trying their hardest to get the work done. My bad, guys. I'm a bit of a scallywag. Uh, right, have we got these all built? We have. Marvellous. Okay, things seem to be going reasonably well then. Currently, we have managed to uh, decommission a few of the mechanoids. Not all of them, however. We are presently working on an unfinished uh, prosthetic arm. Then we're going to be working on prosthetic legs. Atlas currently has one prosthetic leg. It would be nice to get two um, prosthetic arms, but all we actually need are the prosthetic legs, realistically speaking. Uh, as for you... Yeah, the, the legs are all we strictly need. Hmm, I'd have to think about that one. Though, given Dark Avak's current situation, I might need to set up a, a small uh, additional medical room 
Uh, let's see. Something around here should do, I think. We'll have something about... Hmm. Well, if we continue with the, the setup of the rest of the facilities, then what we want is this. We will have a single door. Close that off. And we'll have it temperature controlled. Like so. Pop a heater over there. And for the floors, uh, we don't really have the silver to make this a sterile room, unfortunately. But we can give you light wooden floors. They they look a little, little nicer, in my opinion. And metal tile there. And unfortunately, it's going to kind of throw things off a little bit, isn't it? Uh, let's pop down paved tiles right there. We'll cancel this one. So paved tiles there. We'll get a doormat right here. Need to ensure that this is fully roofed. There we are. And inside, we'll just go with a regular bed for now, I'm thinking. Something like this. And we'll give you some nice furnishings as well, just to... Uh, just to to make the stay in the hospital a little bit easier on you. Uh, let's get a square plant pot as well. That should be plenty, I think. We will have to adjust the zones, though. So let's take away animal area one. There's really no reason for you to go up there anymore, I would say. Uh, actually, we do allow them to step in there. And for area one, area one should really be any part of the colony that is the internal part of the colony as far as our setup is concerned. So pretty much all of this is fine. Oops, that was a bit of a uh, bit of lag there. There we are. And all of that. There we go. That will be considered area one for, for the sake of restricting the movement of my colonists. Okay, we just traded for a bunch of more of new plasteel, and all we actually traded away was an AI persona core. Something that we largely don't care about because it makes our colonists turn into evil, evil shadows of their former selves who like beating up puppies. Though again, yeah, not so so sure that that is just because of the of, of the of the AI. I'll be honest, I think there was some underlying wickedness there well before that. Uh, we will actually add in an end table right there as well. This needs to be a medical bed, and Dark Ava can pop in there and rest fairly soon, I would say. All of this is now considered part of the colony, so Dark is going to have to... Uh, take care of all of that as well and we are hopefully going to be expanding out to get a little bit more power besides or at the very least getting that up and running really uh there we are no that doesn't really uh, attract my attention at all for the time being uh let's make sure all of this is being brought in though please and thank you let's uh, get all of that in as fast as you possibly can how are you doing uh fibrous mechanite mild pain it's fine uh, also, also food poisoning from from human meat. I don't know what that other human had ate, but that that is pretty bad. If Dark Avak is get, is 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 starting to feel a bit woozy after eating you, then you know you were you were bad food. Uh, surrogate stomach, surrogate uh, sorry, synthetic kidneys are on the on the go. Uh, who's working here? Horror story. You know what? I think I would prefer you to work there. Actually, could you work there instead? We've still got a couple of mechanoids to break down, which would be glorious. I would be extremely pleased with that. What? Oh, yes. That's right. I sold many of the chicks. Ha! <laughs> ah, that's kind of cute. Uh, right. Solar flare. Oh, that's that's not so great. Well, I suppose that isn't terrible. Oh, I, I suppose it isn't terrible because that doesn't seem to need power, but no, no, it does. It does, in fact, need power. And, and well done, Horace. Sorry for vomiting all over the floor there. I suppose I'll give you a break. You have got gut worms, after all. all right, let's go and have a check over here. Uh, yeah, it looks like the solar flare also affects here. So uh, a solar flare is a, a pretty 
pretty far-reaching event. That makes sense when you think about it, but we've seen some of the other events not really matter. Uh, ooh, now where are they going to be attacking from? Oh my lord, I've got a sigh there. This is going to be an interesting fight. Oh yes, this is going to be a very interesting fight. Uh, all right, well, let's go ahead. We'll wrap the episode up with this. I think, yeah, we'll allow the animals to just at least get out of the way. So animal area two, please. And as for our colonists, uh, yeah, head to well, actually area two and we'll set that one up in much the same way. Area two is strictly for indoors. We don't even oh, even care about that. Actually, yeah, that's, that's easy enough. Uh, let's make sure that you are actually restricted to area two. It should only be there. Kaya doesn't seem to give a damn. Well, uh, uh, oh right, you were just finishing your kill. I understand. I understand. That is very important. Right. Okay then, Kaya. I don't want you here. Possibly. Uh, can I get you to go and stand there? I'm not sure. Well, Dark Avak, I think we're going to have you moving around the side. Just don't get in too close. Okay, it's coming around this way. Very well, that's actually not terrible. It's going for Dark Avak. Interesting. No, it's not. It's going for my bloody solar panels. You wretch. Please get a couple of good shots off. Well done. Pull back. Almost finished aiming. Okay, that wasn't too terrible. Okay, Dark Havoc, Yoko, go for it. Do your best. You can rage in there pretty fast. Ouch! Please stop firing. Kaya, move up right behind Dark Havoc, please. Uh, or, or just stood to the side or something. Come on. You can... Oh, well done, Yoko. Can we, can we see the wounds? Okay, it got a shattered thorax... Uh, from a gunshot, right arm, left arm, right blade, but then um, got a crack from a bionic animal leg to the thorax. It got a, a shot on the right thumb from a gunshot. Yeah, I suppose the right thumb doesn't have very much hit points, I would imagine. Yeah, seven. Um, can't tell what happened. It was, a, it was a shatter on the head. Either way, though, Yoko, how are you doing? You're bleeding from a couple of gunshot wounds. Wow, really, Kaya? You were the only one that hurt anyone in that. Any of us, realistically speaking. Uh, right, Dark Avatar, could you please tend to Yoko as a matter of some priority? Uh, well, yes. Yes, it's Yoko. I, I really, really... I know that that isn't particularly effective... I understand. I just don't care. It's Yoko. Dark Havoc would refuse to use anything but the best meds on Yoko. It's just the way it's going to be. Himself, sure. He'll he'll just patch himself up with, with some grass and, and, and an unguent or something. But uh, no, no. It's, it's proper medicine for Yoko. Always. Uh, are you actually okay? Yeah, you're fine. Uh, okay, well, that's where we're going to wrap things up. Well done on taking down the scyther. That will represent a reasonable amount of components for us, actually. We can go ahead. I mean, we could build a machining workshop just for the sake of getting the, the scyther broken down into its components. I'm not sure we need to. We could just send the scyther wholesale to the other colony if we if we strictly needed that. Uh, for the time being, the, the main thing is to just repair things, get things cleaned up, and, and generally get the uh, the colony here on the go again. I think we should be looking at getting Atlas over here in the next episode if we're lucky and we can finish the components that are needed to at least get him to the point where he can keep pace with Kaya and Dark Avak. That is the main focus there. But that's going to be it from me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, everyone.